My name is Debbie Hoffman. I'm a adult services librarian at the Warren Newport Public Library. The Swans of Fifth Avenue by ben ben Melanie Benjamin is terrific, um, especially if you like historical um, fiction with, with a lot of history in it and a lot of fiction. This is the, She's just a wonderful writer. She wrote The Aviator's Wife, which was a beautiful, beautiful book. The Swans of Fifth Avenue, again, was, a, was a, a time period that I knew very little of. Of course, everybody knew Truman Capote, who plays a major role in this book. Um, but I really didn't know about the, the movers and shakers of New York in 1950 and 1960. These were the women who really kind of controlled or kind of ran New York. These were the wives of very, very wealthy uh, men. And Babe Paley, who I really didn't know anything about, was the queen of it all. Um, Babe Paley came from a very well-to-do family, um, married up each time, and ended up marrying to um, Mr. Bill Paley, who was the head of one of the big, big um, TV stations. Um, she and her group of friends, um, as I said, would lunch. They were the lunch crowd. They wore beautiful clothes, went to all the main parties. And then Truman Capote comes along. He's this very young, fresh, just from the South kind of young man who has lots and lots of talent and lots of charisma. And he and Babe immediately become close friends. Um, they, Babe sees Truman through um, all of his wonderful uh, breakfast at Tiffany's and in, the, in um, all of his other famous books. Um, and he sticks close to Babe. Um, he learns all the gossip, all the new th nuances, who's sleeping with who, and and he just keeps on all of that information in the back of his head until when he finally is much a little bit older, he really has nothing to write. He has writer's block, and he writes a series of short stories, and one of them pretty much opens up this chasm of what's really the underbelly of what's going on in New York and with all these families. Babe is absolutely devastated. This is the story of friendship gone awry. Um, can you forgive when somebody has hurt you so badly? It's just a interesting look into a very fascinating period of time. And I have to say that I, since I didn't know this story, that it really made me go back and do some research. And it's true. I hope you'll enjoy it.